What's up YouTube, Mike here with PatBangers.com and today I have kind of a longer video for you guys um, so very lots of theory stuff, lots of workflow here so uh, grab yourself a drink and let's get started alright so um, where do I start I get a lot of emails in, actually since machine 2.0 came out asking dude how to set up machine within studio one that workflow is so different now and uh, I agree it it's really it was a pain in the ass to be honest it's now since machine 2.1 came out it's a little better but it's still um it's still a lot of setup to do to make machine work the way I want to have it in studio one and um but I made a template now for about the last three to four days setting up machine and studio one and also contact perfectly for me so I can jump right into studio one and um, don't need hours of configuration I just jump in and start recording and I want to share this with you guys and uh, don't get me wrong this is the way I like to work um, I don't say that's the way everybody should work but I want to show you my template and uh, maybe you get some inspiration from it or you you say wow that's cool I want to do it exactly that way so um, let's get started so in studio one here I create a new song and here's my template contact the machine and um, I open it up and as you can see it loads a bunch of stuff here and here it is so um, I'm on a 20 inch, a 27 inch iMac so I have plenty of room uh, for all the windows here if you are on a smaller screen you maybe want to get rid of some windows like the inspector here and stuff like that and save this as a template and um, by the way if you're working with templates uh, always I highly recommend saving multiple versions of your template so don't overwrite it every time so you always can come back to an older version if there if you kind of mess up something and this will happen so um, yeah let's get started so right here in uh, the track window here I have two folders contact machine and a an, uh, stereo sampling audio track so let's open up the folder right here and as you can see I have eight tracks these are corresponding to eight instruments in contact that's what I mostly use not more than eight contact instruments um, if I do use more I can sure add tracks or later but eight is a, a pretty pretty good amount of contact tracks I used to have in my tracks so um, as you can see here these are already mapped to their specific MIDI channels and also mapped to the outputs here in Studio One. Now let me go to my contact scene here in the mixer and you can see eight contact tracks and these are they are linked to the specific instrument track so wherever I choose the track it jumps exactly to the same track in the in the mixer which is pretty cool and um, for contact itself when I open it up I just uh, have eight stereo output tracks here in contact and I activated them here in the channel window so when I want to get started all I need to do is open up contact load an instrument go to the track And it starts playing. Um, so I'm sure you can't hear that. So, so if I want to add another instrument, I go down here. Let's say I load some horns. Load up. All you need to do is change the output channel go to the next track 
and so on and so forth. I can do this with 8 tracks. Pretty fast recording, all I need to do is changing the output channel. Pretty cool. So, um, that's from Contact. Now Machine. As you can see here, I have 7 groups because group H is my MIDI host group which triggers all the other groups and um, I don't want to do tutorial on this if you are um, not familiar with the MIDI host feature check out um, Machine Tutorials um, St. Joe's channel on YouTube he explains it perfect um, great tutorials if you don't know him go check him out and uh, let's fire up Machine here so let's say I'm in group A and I'll show you how fast it is. If you know um, the problem with machine 2 and 2.1 is you always have to come down here and have to route uh, MIDI input. So as you can see everything here is, is set up correctly, channel 3, channel 4. And normally you would do have this by your own if you don't use a template. So um, I'll show you how fast it is now. Go to group 8. Just gonna load a, load up a kit here. I go here to my group A, switch to group H, which triggers group A now. And um, oops, oh, wrong window. Come back here. So as you can see, it records straight into Studio One. So I don't need um, the software anymore. Um, all need to do left is routing the specific outputs. What I do in, when I'm done with, with the track and the basic loops and I start mixing, that's the time when I route audio from machine out. So I know exactly I want my kick here. I want uh, the sound on external one. I want my snare on external two. I had channel free stuff like that when I notice I come down here as you can see it's already mapped out and what I like to do is uh, especially for drums I go here and say uh, split by tonality so I get a MIDI track per per instrument so this one is kick only this one is snare only And that's the way I work pretty fast. So if I want to load another kit, I go come here, group B, choose the kit, go back to my group, group H. And that's it. Pretty fast workflow so far. So of course, if I want to add new instruments and stuff like that, um, I just drag them in. Oh, maybe one more, one more thing with contact. The sampling track here. Um, as you probably know, machine. Uh, if you want to use machine for sampling in Studio One, you need to use it as an insert effect on an audio track, so it can receive audio from the incoming signal. And um, I don't like that. <laughs> I really don't like that because if you have sampled it, you have, would have saved the machine project. Then go to an instrument instance of machine, load up the project again and continue working. This needs too much time. I, I hate that. So what I do here is I record audio straight into Studio One. Um, I'll give you a quick example. I'll just load up a sample here and show you. Let's say we recorded this here to the track. So this comes from my record player or whatever. Now what I do is, since this is recorded, no machine instance on it, I just drag it from the track to my folder here in the browser which I called recorded which is kind of temp folder then I open up machine again go to an empty group and drag the sample right into machine 
boom, here it is. Pretty fast, pretty straightforward. No different instances on audio tracks and saving projects. Just drag it to the browser, drag it back into machine, and you're good to go. And you can start, um, you can start up slicing stuff and so on and so on. Okay, what else do we have in the? Um, what's a little time saver here? I set up four effects return channels, aux channels, whatever you want to call them. Um, pretty the same like Ableton Live does it. So I have one channel for reverb, delay, one for parallel or New York compression, and one is empty for whatever I'm gonna do, maybe putting guitar rig on it, stuff like that. Um, and as you can see, I load up some plugins already. So I have three different delays here: Native Instruments RC24, 48. Um, I have the beat delay, analog delay from Studio One here, and Supercharger for uh, our Scarlet compressor for my New York compression. And um, these don't take uh, much power off your computer because they're not activated um, when you check out. The window right here uh, none of these plugins use any CPU power they're like frozen they don't need any power they need a little bit of RAM but seriously RAM is cheap these days Blah. get as much RAM as you can if I want to add new instruments here of course I just drag them in so uh, go to my instruments throw um, Trillion, for example. So I just make new tracks, but at least all the contact and machine setup is done. If you have um, more instruments you use in every track, go ahead, set them up the way you like, save as a template. It saves you a ton of time. You're way more efficient. You can sketch your ideas pretty fast without struggling with uh, configuration stuff. So, yeah, basically that's it. I hope you guys um, find this useful. Let me know if you built your own template. Um, let me know if you want to have uh, my template. I can throw it in the Dropbox, although I don't know if it's really working because uh, I probably get some error messages due to my connected MIDI stuff. And I don't know, but I can throw it in the Dropbox if you want to have it. Just comment below. Subscribe to, uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, I see you guys next time. And uh, yeah, one more thing. I don't know if you guys already knew. Uh, we have a new show on YouTube called The Producers Hangout with uh, Kev West, um, Flux from FluxWithIt.com, Upright and, um, and me. So um, it's pretty cool. We talk about technical stuff, music technologies, new plugins, stuff like that. We also have a Facebook group called um, facebook.com slash group slash the producers hangout all in one word. Um, come over, join us, have a good time. And if you have any questions, just shoot us uh, a message and we always trying to help you guys out. That's it, Mike with patbangers.com. Peace.